welcome to Van Life Eats. Today we are going to be summing up our thoughts on uh, the Van Life Eats Big Picnic 21 and talking about what you can expect for next year. It's been what, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks. We and finally uh, recovered. Took two weeks to recover, definitely. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, we're just going to sort of break it down and just talk about each part. And mm -hmm. So what was your favourite part of the Big Picnic? Um, I think my favourite part was meeting all of you guys, that goes without saying, and getting to know everybody and obviously seeing people's faces in real life rather than just on my phone. But apart from that, the pet show. I loved the yeah. pet show, I loved seeing everyone's dogs and yeah, it was really good fun. What was, what was your best bit? It's kind of in theme, isn't it, at the moment, the pet show and shame Darcy hadn't arrived in time. I know. But, um, yeah, I mean, de definitely hands down meeting people and talking to people. I didn't didn't realise just how busy we'd be actually just socialising. And mm. um, We're sorry to anyone that we didn't get round to. We were yeah. wanting to come round and say hello to everybody, but we just, were, yeah, like you say, so busy um, that we didn't get a chance. So that is one of the things we're definitely going to do differently next year is we are going to make sure that we get round to speak to everybody and say hello to everyone yeah we make sure we got people to cover all the little odd jobs that we were running around doing and hopefully people didn't see all the odd jobs that we had to do but um, yeah we we want to be a bit more free to to enjoy it i think and actually i think that's one thing for, for next year the staffing wise i think we should have people that are uh, not interested in van life at all mm. just happy to work and, yeah. and run it so uh, I think we'll get a, a proper team in next time a marshalling team so like Mark says they're not interested in wanting to go and look at the vans and things like that I think everybody naturally does because even people that came yeah. to look at the event um, the farmer that owned the farm the council came to do a spot check they were all fascinated by the vans and loved looking at different people's vans and things so I do think they would want to but obviously if they're a professional team they they won't <laughs> it's hard so, not to isn't it i mean yeah. it's cool there were some beautiful vans really amazing amazing vans. and actually we're going to be doing a video aren't we of our, yeah. our favorite vans so keep it keep your eyes peeled for that one and hopefully you didn't miss the the three three of our favorite vans that we worked with alongside van life conversions uk yeah we picked um, our three favorite ones alongside yeah. them didn't we and um they they're, were announced on the sunday night they were stunning vans very beautiful. very clever use of space and yeah and right. you could just see the work and love that's gone into them, yeah. can't you? I mean, we would have liked to make everyone a winner. Everyone's fans were incredible, um, but it, it was really difficult to pick it three, was, it wasn't was really it? It was really difficult. Very lucky we had Ollie and Em to help us. Yeah. So, thinking back now, what do you think didn't go well? What do we need to do differently next year? So, some of the acts didn't turn up, did they? We got let down a lot. Um, it's probably from our inexperience of not making people pay fees up front and yeah. deposits and things like that. We just kind of I think when you're in. quite trusting people, you don't expect people to let you down. I think the other thing was that people kind of, when if they had better offers, they had no obligation to come to our event. So that was yeah. an issue. Our caterers let us down with a couple of weeks to go, and um, we were so grateful for Cook My Grub who came down and, and did an amazing job. Yeah, and they pulled really that good. all together within what two weeks? Two, two weeks. Amazing. Like thank you so much to those guys, um, because without them we would have had no caterers at all. Yeah. Um, so that was the main thing that we were let down with. And then there was yeah a few other people that dropped out, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Yeah, we had a lot of the roaming musicians didn't turn up. They. An acrobatic act, the poor lady, yeah, she, she hurt, hurt her leg. knee, so um, she couldn't come and perform, she, couldn't, she was going to do workshops and things and she couldn't do that, so um, that, yeah, that was a shame and we hope she's feeling much better now. Yeah, so I think, but apart from that, I mean, it, it was just a big social, wasn't it? I think it was, it was really nice that... For, for us to see people who knew one another getting mm. together and, and also people that had never met before there were yeah. so many people that were meeting up with people that they just connected through on instagram and that was the first time they'd met each other and that was such so lovely yeah, to be able really to lovely. to help that experience wasn't it yeah. and help that to happen and also i think next year we should look at more of it being a, a picnic i know you said this yeah. for this year about the picnic but next year we're going to put a, a time in there um, one o'clock and everyone brings their food and we all have a massive picnic I think that would be that would be cool yeah definitely and then everyone can kind of I mean Mark always says how the whole thing about food is that it brings people together and that's the bit of it that he really enjoys and actually what better way to do it than a massive picnic everyone brings a plate of food everyone tries each other's food and you just share what other people like yeah. to eat and pe what people are proud of making in their van and so yeah I think that'll make it a, a, yeah. a bigger thing of that next year um, 
Yeah. But otherwise, everything went really well, didn't it? It was. It was a. I think we we have learnt some things. Obviously, we know that we need more toilets for next year. Um, we've realised that we probably need an Elsan point for next yeah. year. Um, so there's the the things like that we've taken on board, and we'll definitely yeah. de learn with and go for different things next year, different options. But I think again, it was trying to pull things together at the last minute, being let down by people, being told wrong information maybe yeah. um, and so yeah we've definitely had a massive learning experience from it it's the first time either of us have ever done anything like that before isn't it so yeah. you know massive learning curve for us and yeah I think apart apart from that we we're really really happy with the way that everything yeah. went weren't we and I think next year as well we, we've got so much more space there um, there was a whole football pitch that we could have used um, which we didn't and obviously that's flat as well didn't quite oh, I think we misjudged when we when we first a couple of times we visited the field the grass was very high and you couldn't really tell just how uneven the ground was so I think until vans started arriving I mean you got an idea of how uneven it was but actually when you saw people park it in yeah that kind of gave you a sense of, of how uneven it was but we can be a lot more strategic with the land and and there are flatter areas there um, so we'll, we'll, we'll open up we'll open up um, also, the farmer has—he's—he's um, he's really enthusiastic. He was—I've had some really great chats with him, and he's excited about next year. He's talking about opening up a workshop and having a van build live. Don't quote us on that. Yeah, no, the workshop might not be ready, but there will be a brewery open next year. And um, that's yeah. almost complete now, I yeah. think. Wasn't quite ready for this year's big picnic, but they've got their own brewery, that, which is going to be open, which will yeah. be exciting. And also, there'll be less restrictions on social distancing. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Touch wood. <laughs> Um, because we did have to have everything very spread out. Um, yeah, we were quite mindful of that. I wanted it we to were. be safe, and I think especially with the news about board board waters or broadmasters, broadmasters. Yeah. That they had like five thousand cases of yeah. COVID after that festival, and we were really conscious that we yeah. didn't want it to be a big thing that loads of people got COVID at our event, and so we were very mindful of the fact that we wanted people to be spaced out and them to have enough room to be able to be safe. Yeah, definitely. And I think that, I mean, that's partly the reason why we didn't do the big picnic, wasn't it? it was we just yeah. couldn't gather everyone in the same space. Um, so we tried to encourage people to be spread out. Um, but um, also the staging as well, I think we... We definitely need a big stage I next year. I think we'll year. get a big stage <laughs> next year. Um, and some, some maybe some more sort of workshops going on. Yeah, the, um, I think, like Mark said earlier, the, the Roman musicians let us down, and so actually there would have been so much more of an atmosphere having those roaming around and playing music yeah. throughout the day, so that's something we'll definitely do again next year, but make sure we book people that are going to actually turn up. Yeah. Deposits. Yeah, exactly. But the feedback we had from all of you guys at the event was amazing, and I think the word that I heard from like 99% of people was how chilled it was, and that you guys really, really liked the atmosphere that was there. And so that's made us think about our plans for next year, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. We we don't want to. It's. I mean, taking on two extra fields means we can have more people, but do we want to lose that closeness and almost you know intimacy of? It was such a nice atmosphere, and like everyone it said, was. it was so chilled. And we're worried that if we make it too big, that we might lose that kind of sense of that. And we don't want to do that. So it's it's definitely made us think about next year and yeah. numbers and things like that. The rumours going around at the weekend when we were there were quite incredible, weren't yeah. they? I mean, as we were talking about, there being thousands and thousands of people there next year. There was rumours of a Ferris wheel, um, all sorts of stuff. So as soon as we know, then obviously um, we will make sure that everybody is updated. Um, but I think best bet is just subscribe to us on YouTube and... Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep the, the, the event, the, the building of the Big Picnic 22. Um, we're gonna keep that posted on, on YouTube, I think. Um, but do sign up to our newsletter as well because information will probably yeah. go out on there. Yeah, definitely. Like we did did this year, we we actually let everyone know that the tickets are going on sale, and we sold most of the tickets through people that had subscribed to the in newsletter. Our, yeah, in we? our pre-sale. Yeah, and then when they went live, I mean, there was still you know people that didn't even know about the big picnic until. Some of them before. even on the day, they were like, I've just yeah. seen this event and I really want to come, can I still get tickets? And so I think, yeah, it will definitely be more sought after next year. Um, and so definitely watch this space to make sure that you don't miss out on tickets. Especially yeah. because it's not going to have thousands and thousands of people. I think we've decided that. Um, we, but can't, we can't. I mean, there is a possibility that we could do two. 
a lot of people from up north that visited, wasn't there? Yeah. And you know, potentially we could do a north and south picnic. But if again, not if not for 2022, maybe for 2023. Yeah. But we're interested to hear people's thoughts, so feel free to comment. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll um was want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so comment down below. Um, <laughs> Although you look like a little dog <laughs> that you were begging. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, please do drop us comments and let us know your thoughts and um, let us know, you know, you can drop us a private message in Instagram as well um, if you want to let us know where you're based and, you know, just so we get an idea of a region and where the, where the real popular places are. And, and like I've said to, you, to some of you before, Mark does all the YouTube stuff, so if you comment and you don't get a reply for a couple of days, he's not I'll very do my good. Best. I'll you do, my do. Best. You've, you've got better, he's got better. But yeah, if you don't hear back from after a couple of days, just send us an email or <laughs> jump to on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> and also we want to say a massive thank you to all that were involved in helping the big picnic come about. Um, yeah. You know, people that helped us on the day, uh, people that made it possible for us. Um, yeah, we were really lucky. Our family and friends helped us out massively. Um, Jamie, one of Mark's best friends, came down and helped us out. Andy, Mark's cousin, was there from the very beginning to the very end. He was last man standing and couldn't have done it without him. So thank you so much to those guys. Um, and Kat from She's at the Wheel podcast helped us out massively. Um, Amy and Dan from Any Which Way, they were just superstars of the weekend. Like, we can't thank you guys enough. So, do follow them on Instagram, any.witch.way. Um, they are about to travel through Europe, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they just started their adventure. They've uh, they got a load of inspiration as well at the, at the big picnic. And a week before they leave, they decided to rip the van apart and make some changes. So, they've just about got it together now. And there, they've just started their journey. So, definitely follow them. They're, they're it's gonna be good for them. Yeah, and we had some really help, excited. local help as well from Anis, who um, was friends with Junk Jody. And if you've got children, you might have gone down to the crafting tent. So just thank you to everybody that helped, and thank you to you guys for coming and trusting in us and buying tickets that, yeah. and uh, you know, hoping that it was gonna be a good weekend, which it was. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was you, you guys that made it. It wasn't us. Yeah. If, if you guys hadn't have made it so friendly and and yeah it was, you it's made huge, the atmosphere that everyone's loved so thank you to everybody and see you next year see you then <laughs>